Here at Less Annoying, we are focused on simplicity, and that includes reporting. So if you need to see all the sales that you've won, or if you need to monitor another user's activity, or maybe you just need to find all the contacts in a specific zip code, we can help you pull those reports, and I'll show you how in this video. One thing I will mention is we are about showing you the data directly as opposed to hiding it behind dashboards and charts. But if you need to pull that type of report, you can always download your data to Excel and then generate those custom reports to your heart's content. So in this video, we'll focus on four reports, your contact report, your pipeline reports, the activity report, and tasks. If you go to your contacts list, you'll see every record in your database that you can access, and you can filter this list down by any field. So let's say you're planning a trip to a particular area. Just filter the contact list to find everyone with a certain zip code. Just use the add a filter button over here to filter by your zip code field. You will always see what you have filtered for up here. And it's pretty easy to change that too. Like if I want to filter for contacts that just have an email address, now I can export that to Excel if I want to send out a bulk email through Gmail or Outlook or something. You can also filter this by record type to just focus on just contacts or just companies. And then you can always make that default if you'd like. Over here, filtering by user lets you see all of the assigned contacts for a particular person on your team. And sorting, it just lets you reorder your lists. For example, if I wanna see all of the contacts that haven't been updated in a while, I can sort by the date contact was last updated field. Um, the possibilities are kind of endless here on how you can stack filters and then sort those, and you can always export and print it out if you want. You might have pipelines for your industry already, but we're going to look at a couple pipeline examples just for reporting. So under your reports tab, you'll find a corresponding report for each pipeline on your account. By default, this report shows me all of my active leads, but I can um, filter over here to pull reports on any of my statuses or pipeline fields. For example, I can report on just my qualified leads. And then I can add a filter to pull those with a value over $500. Or maybe I just want to see my one sales and I want to see the ones that specifically came from my website. You can really mix and match the statuses and the field filters to get the report that you need. And then you can always print or export it to share it with others or make more customized reports in Excel. Here are a few other pipeline report examples. In an order pipeline, filter by completed orders and product type to find your most popular products. In a project pipeline, filter by estimated completion date to make sure projects are moving forward on schedule. And then filter by a specific user's assigned records to make sure that they're staying on top of things. Using pipelines to track insurance policies, Use this report to find everyone with a specific policy type that expires soon or people who might want some extra coverage. Your activity report shows, you guessed it, all of the logged activity in your CRM. So notes, emails, new contacts, pipeline updates, events, and completed tasks. It is automatically filtered to show the most recent week of activity, but it's a cinch to narrow in to a different range. These filtering options too on the left let you report on a specific type of activity. So if you just wanna see all the meetings you attended during the week, you can, or maybe you wanna see all the notes that your users have taken for a specific date range. Again, you can always export or print this to share with your admins or team members. Your tasks will show up on your workspace and your calendar, but the task report gives a way more direct view to your task list. So you can filter this by date range to see your upcoming tasks, or you could filter by completion status to find any tasks that you may have missed. Managers, you can filter this by user to make sure everyone is staying on top of their to-dos. And you can reassign any that need to be handled while somebody is out. If you need to share a report, you can also filter to see all of the tasks that you completed and then print or export the list to share with a manager or your admin. 
So those are the simple reporting options in Less Annoying. Again, if you are looking for something more advanced, you can always export your data to Excel and then run additional reports there. If you want to get really fancy, you can also check out our API or our Zapier integration to pull data down into a different system and generate additional reports that way. Let us know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.